Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Kathy J. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today, I want to talk to you about hunger, food insecurity. What is the difference? And I want to talk to you about hunger here in Colorado counties. Every county in Colorado is different, but there are some, well, actually, they all need help. <laughs> but we are going to focus today on Community Food Share, which is located up in the Broomfield, Boulder County areas. Joining me today, the CEO, everybody. <laughs> I knew her when. <laughs> Kim De Silva of Yay. Community Food Share. Thank you Hello. for being here. So <sighs> great to see you. It's really, it's always good to see I you. I know. It's you fun. have been helping people in the Denver community and surrounding areas with food insecurity and hunger. You've been fighting it, I feel, for over two decades. Yes. You personally. Yes. yes. So I started in food banking in 1996. Three decades. Yeah. So almost three decades, <laughs> yeah. which is very hard Let's to believe. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the best person to be doing this, Kim, Aww. to be helping out. I mean, yes. you've seen it all. You've come up with amazing programs over the years. Let's talk about Community Food Share yes. and how they started and why you love them so much. Well, I just love Community Food Share. So it's a Feeding America food bank that covers Boulder and Broomfield counties. And it's really hard to think about that in Boulder and Broomfield counties that there's food insecurity. Yeah, right. Because they are, they're some of the wealthiest counties. Or yes. You think of, yes. So they have some of the wealthiest residents. Right. right? Yeah, right. Yes. So you don't really think about that. But Community Food Share started over 41 years ago. By the community, thus Community Food Share, um, EFA, who is one of our uh, partner agencies, saw an extensive need within the community and said, hey, we need a food bank here, someone who can actually help get food procured and distributed to all of the thousands of individuals who are food insecure. So, you know, 41, 42 years later, here we are still fighting the good fight. And yes. it's such a great community to be in. Well, I want to kind of go in and break a lot of that yes. down that what you just said, Kim. So Kim is here. She's the CEO of Community Food Share. So Community Food Share up there in the Boulder and Broomfield areas. Let's first start with what is the difference between hunger and food insecurity? That is a great question. So I'm going to have you do a little exercise with me. Okay. So try to think of a time, whether it's because you were working late or you had to pick up your kids uh -huh. uh, and you just I felt, was starving, You were Kim. starving. I was starving. <laughs> Where we say, I am starving. starving. I have kids. I yes. have little kids. I hear it all the time. Yes. Right. That is hunger. The physical gotcha. response you get to right. not having food in your system. Okay. So when we say we're starving, that is hunger hitting us. Yes. Now, food insecurity is not having the resources available to feed that physical need. It's the I'm starving and wow. Wow, I'm what going am to deal I with this do? for the next, until I can find food. Yes. Yeah, and okay. so, and then I always say, imagine the fact that if you're a mom, just worked a really hard day, you're hungry, and you have kids. Yeah. And your resources are slim. Yeah. So you make the decision, I'm going to give the food to my children. Yes. And keep it. So I have water. Yes, and that's, that's what not I'm going to have go. tonight. Right. And and uh, the problem with that, and we know, if someone is suffering from not getting the right food, the right nutrition, it affects their sleep. It affects yes. their, when they go to work. It yes. affects their, you know, everything is surrounded around what we're putting in our body yeah. to f fuel us. And uh, especially, too, what you don't think of is the mental stress it yes. takes. Yes. So all of a sudden you're now hungry and now you have a pit in your stomach and you're anxious and you don't know where you're going to get your next meal yep. or how you're going to feed your family and your mind starts to go into despair. And then you're up all night. And then you're up all <laughs> night. Yes. Now you're getting an ulcer. Yes. And you don't have money right. for insurance. It does yes. lead into everything. It's a vicious yes. circle. Food insecurity. Uh, when when I think about, you know, the food banks, I think about, you know, you might you might think inner city. Let's go back to thinking about the people that were asking for help up here yes. in the Broomfield and Boulder areas. Yes. It is one of the wealthiest counties with some of the wealthiest people. But at the same time, people, blue collar people still work at the grocery stores. They're still yes. your children's friends yes. and families. Right. I yes. mean, these are the people we're talking about. Middle class families. Yes. I always say when people uh, talk about those who are food insecure, they say them. Mm -hmm. So there's not a them. There's an us. Because what we saw during the pandemic is that one 
like how many individuals here live paycheck to paycheck? Yes. I mean, like everybody. I mean, everybody I, I read the stats all the time yes. on the air. Yes. Yes. So one paycheck, you know, you have it planned out to the exact last dollar. Yes. Please don't go out water yes. heater. Yes. Please don't go out breaks. Please yes. don't go out. We're all praying. And so the, yeah. I say individuals who use food banks and food pantries are us. Yeah. They're individuals who are just one medication, one ankle break away from having to utilize some food services. And the reason, especially in Boulder and Broomfield County, is, you know, the cost of Colorado living here is expensive. Yeah. But in Boulder and Broomfield County, it is so expensive. It's so expensive I can't go there. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, but I know so many people that have grown up there. Yes. And who am I to say, you know, you can't live there close to where you work right. or where your kids are going to school. So I, I understand all of that. You know, there are people yeah. that people still have to work in places like Aspen, they yes. live in Carbondale. You know, like you still have to help these people and these families that are trying to survive. Yeah, and it's very interesting. Um, the Center on Law and Policy has a study called the Self Sufficiency Standard. Okay. So they figure out by county how much you would need to make to actually survive. A million dollars yes. in Boulder County. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but for uh, if you had two adults, a uh, preschooler, and uh, somebody in grade school, you would need to make one hundred and seven thousand yeah. dollars to be able to just meet your basic needs, and that's without asking for any support. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. And that's why you have so many people come into the community yes. food share. Yes, yes. So everybody, that let's get past putting a face on this and yes. realize the face is everyone around you. And more, you could even know that more because of how many programs yes. use community food share. So yes. let's talk about all of the, re, the everyone that's coming to you guys for yes. food. Talk about them. Well, we have uh, a different ways that we get our food out into the community. Our biggest is our food pantry network. So we work with 43 partner agencies, all from family resource centers to religious institutions to senior centers who are directly in contact with those who need food on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh -huh. And then we also run our own programs. So we have an on-site food pantry, um, and that is open three days a week. We do mobile pantries where we take food in a truck, wow. bring it out to neighborhoods where either there is no food pantry or food pantries cannot handle that need. Wow. We have a blue spruce program. So we do direct service of delivery to seniors uh -huh. in need of food assistance. You need that. You, I mean, the yes. elder, elderly people, I, I pray in for my yes. meals on wheels or whatever to be showing yes. up. Like the fact that you're aware and, and county, they, I'm sure Boulder County, they have some older residents for yeah. sure over there. Um, I, I really wanted to, to talk again about the programs. You said 43. So you're talking yes. about like, uh, the religious, the, the church pantry yes. and the women's pantry yes. for this and the, all that, all those things. 43 of them yes. are coming to you guys already. Yes, for food. So is it better for people to donate there individually or just donate to you and you're, you can filter it to all these people? Yeah, when, when individuals donate either food funds to Community Food Share, we split that and share that with the 43 partner agencies. Yeah, in that's which, nice. You know, we work with. And, you know, our main goal is to make sure that those individual organizations have the food they need to help those individuals who are coming because, you know, you may be going to a family resource center and food is one aspect of what they do. They also are doing things like mental health and yeah. rental assistance. And so to be a partner of ours, you have to be a nonprofit yourself, but food doesn't have to be your main uh, program. You can have other programs, but food is a supplement to what's happening. Yeah. And so I always say we're like the hunter gatherers. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> you are. And but speaking of hunter gatherers, community food share, you guys do care about keeping things fresh and nutrition yes. and what goes out. Yes. Yeah. So for us, nutrition is very, very important for our community. Yeah. Uh, so we make sure that over 70 percent of what we provide is either fresh produce, dairy or proteins. That's great. Yeah. And we actually even have our own farm. I was going to say, you guys probably have some help with the farmers <laughs> yes. over on that side of town. Well, right? we have great farmers who help That's us awesome. out. And then we have a great individual who donated land. So we actually have a farmer on staff full time. <laughs> That's great. I believe Katie's working on our farm plan. Plans right now and and starting the planting um, kind of I don't really know this I'm from New Jersey but there's a crop plan and then you decide when that's going in but sure Kim yeah. yes yes just 
<laughs> Tell her the details. She'll, yes. she'll be fine with it. <laughs> but I mean, it's such great stuff. I mean, we're able to ask uh, individuals coming through our door, like, what would you like to see? And so we have peppers. And, I love that. And yes. Right. Why, things that help us cook that right. make the meals go farther. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So Kim Kim De Silva is joining us today. She's the CEO <laughs> of Community Food Share. Community Food Share um, does so much. They 43 organizations yes. uh, come to you guys for, for help and assistance with their own programs and food. You guys are really good at making food stretch. Yes. On your website and stuff, it says something like a dollar for five. What is, explain yes. that. Well, uh, $1 equals $5 worth of groceries. How do you do this? Yeah. So we do it. Tell with- me, all of us moms are like, please tell me. How do you do, do this? stretch it? <laughs> well, and I, you know, for Community Food Share and for other food banks across the country, the main thing is, is that we can leverage dollars to bring more food in. So we use a lot of volunteers. Gotcha. So we have volunteers who come in and do the work of about 20 full-time employees for us. Uh, We have local farms. We have local retailers. We have um, individuals on a national basis who ship food to us. So if you go to a grocery store and just think about it, that you might purchase a uh, thing of peanut butter for Three dollars, right? We can get that same peanut butter for fifty cents. Okay, so it's really about stretching those dollars because we can get it in a bulk load. I know and you then guys bring some savvy shoppers. No, we I'm do. down. I'm down. <laughs> well, we I'm a, looking at one that's right behind yes, you. She's a great yes. shopper. I know it. <laughs> she is really good. <laughs> so, so, the, so you have amazing programs. It sounds yeah. like you have great help, but we still need. There's still people that are in need. Yes. So let's talk about about what can, people can do. What do you need from us? Well, for Community Food Share, the most important thing are donations of uh, money. Money. Because money goes farther than anything else when it comes to feeding the communities. So we have great programs. And people always think like, well, I don't have $1,000 to give a nonprofit. Right. You don't Uh, need that. Yes. Right. Yes. What, are you trying to win a trip on their charity (laughs) night? You don't need to do that. (laughs) Yes. These smaller amounts, smaller things. It is smaller amounts because 50% of our funding comes from individuals who give $10, $25, $30. Love that. And we have this great program, uh, the sustainer program, our 303 program, where individuals can sign up and give $5 a month. And then that adds up by the end of the, and you don't even miss it. Yes. Let's talk about that really fast. So yes. there, if you do live in Boulder, Broomfield County, and you are one of the people that we're like, hey, you might have a little more, this is a great way to help people. Like you said, yep. you have to have about an average of 107,000 to be able to, yes. nice to live in that area. <laughs> And think about everyone that works at the local grocery store. I think the average income is around 50, yes. 60 in there. So think about that. If they're not lucky enough to have a spouse that shares their income, yes. you know, like just think about all the people around you. It's If it's nothing for you for five, ten dollars $10 to come out every month and you get to say, I know I'm helping these people yeah. and I'm sure you do a nice automatic deduct program. We do. We <laughs> make it, it as easy out. as possible. <laughs> yes, yeah, obviously. Yes, you do. And you know what, Kim, I just want to... I want to say one more time, like I, during during um, COVID, I ended up going to get, I knew of a church that was giving out hot meals yes. and I'd lost my job yeah. and I didn't want to cook and stuff. And so when I went to get the hot meals, they also gave me groceries and I'd yeah. never been anyone that had been handed a bag of groceries. Yeah. And so I immediately was like, no, I came for the food. You can keep the groceries for the next person. But like, I'm getting a little teary eyed thinking yeah. about when you get a gift and I knew I needed it. Yes. I looked in there and saw eggs. I looked in there and saw something that I knew my daughters would eat. And I, there's something as a parent that you just can't deny. Yeah. And so to know that people can do that, that you will never meet means the world to somebody that has pride and, and is accepting a donation. Yeah. I mean, that is a great example of the fact is, is that everybody is worthy of help. So for someone to think that, uh, and that's the great thing about our community is everybody is always thinking about other people. Yeah. You know, one of the greatest things that I love about working where I do is that one thing that our country is lacking is compassion, empathy, Mm -hmm. working together toward a common goal. Yeah. And when you come together into a food bank, a food pantry, and see all of the community members who come together to make sure that each person is cared for, 
it is such a wonderful feeling. And it is a feeling that you need in life to give you hope to keep going forward, to know this is a temporary situation. Mm -hmm. And there are people here for me, whether they know me or not. Yep. I am worthy, I belong, and I am here. That's, that's exactly yeah. right. That's exactly right. You get to close it up, Kim. <laughs> so if you'd like to donate, if you'd like to volunteer and be a yes. part of Community Food Share, you heard her. They have volunteers that do the work of 20 full-time employees. Yes. Um, go to www.communityfoodshare.org. Yes. <sighs> Thank you, Kim. Thank, Thank you. you. Just Thank you. love you. Thank you I so much. I love you, too. <laughs> Thank you to all the hard workers, everybody. Um, I, again, www.communityfoodshare.org. Thank you, and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye, guys. Kathy J.